Hello and <clears throat> welcome to a little bit of show and tell about something um, very interesting and very, very special. And I'm so happy um, that I had the chance um, to get this. So today I, I would like to talk a little bit about the Steam Pipes Cabillo, which I already reviewed. But I have to uh, talk about one thing which I did actually wrong in my review. Um, and I would like to have the chance to, um, yeah, to change uh, this a little bit now. Um, so in detail, it's about the special laser engraved version Cabillo Maui, which I would like to show you. Um, new MTL screws, uh, 0 0.6 millimeter and 0 0.7 millimeters, which is quite nice because there are not so many companies offering these um, little um, airflow options and then i would like to show you with the uh, tank extension and the maui design um, a new top cap um, a side airflow top cap which you can use uh, on the standard cabillo version um, or also on the maui version if you would like to and also the um, conversion um, to make the dl uh, to the mtl and uh, vice versa of course so at first we're gonna have a look here um, at the um, Cabillo Maui. It's it's I mean the packaging and this stuff is all uh, pretty clear. I already showed this to you, but I think now we're gonna have a certain look at this absolutely stunning laser engraving. Also here, you can see here inside. Cabillo steam pipes Maui. I, I mean, this is it's just absolute, absolutely stunning. Absolutely. And I mean, everything is the same as the standard version except the um, laser engraving. Very hard limited, um, um, sold through the Facebook group. Um, yeah. Not many pieces, maybe another batch soon. You should have um, a look at the um, Facebook group. I just want to show it a little bit further. And um, of course, everything like the standard version. So this now is a DL version. And if you want to um, change this to the MTL, you just need the MTL drip tip. You need um, MTL airflow option. And here inside, I'm using um, one of the new um, screws. So I have a 1.6 here inside and one the other side, I have a one millimeter, um, which is yeah, great for me because now um, it is very important that you can mix and match all these screws, of course. So if you take two of these 0.6, you have now very new and total airflow of about 0.8 millimeters. If you take two of these uh, 0.7 millimeter screws, then you are about a one millimeter. Um, and so you can continue. If you take two of the 0.8 millimeter screws, you are at around 1.1. And my wish was, um, yeah, I think we have to go back to my review because there I did a, yeah, actually a terrible mistake because what I told you was I'm using two of the 0.8 millimeter air screws and it's a little bit loose from the airflow because the inlay is not completely sealing the air. Okay, and now I have to make something clear. First of all, if you want to change the DL version to the MTL version, you just need the appropriate uh, peak inlay and you just need the appropriate um, drip tip. Then you are good to go for a MTL version. Yeah, stunning. But it's a little bit more because what I showed you in the review is was this small reducer unit, which I absolutely like. Um, and what I did is 
I put this reducer unit from the bottom inside, which is working, but it's not working exactly the way it should because and now I will show you exactly. You can see now it is put from the inside. And when I put the chamber now on the deck, then we will have a very, very slight gap here. And you might see that we will have a very, very slight gap here towards our um, peak inlay. And that makes additional air. And that is what I told you, that the peak inlay is not completely sealed. What is completely wrong, because you should put the reducer from the top. Now you can see that we have a certain form factor here inside. I mean, it's working from the bottom, really, it's flavor is great. But it's just this small difference that now we don't have any gap here. And now we don't have any gap here between the top part of the chamber and the peak inlay. And now we have an absolutely amazing tight airflow. And if when and when I use the 0.7 on both sides, it is super tight MTL. So it's a perfect MTL vibe. So I decided to go for one side one millimeter and one side 0.7. Um, and I would like to advise you to do something similar because it's absolutely great and works absolutely fantastic. Another hint for you is what I, um, what I experienced is if you're going to change uh, stuff very, very often, please have a look if you, if an O-ring is slightly damaged, which is the case here on this small O-ring, you will find small gaps if an O-ring is damaged. So keep an eye on this. You have a spare bag, you can change them and when you see no gaps, then everything is fine and the airflow is absolutely perfect and sealed and tight. So this is very important for me to tell you. Another thing I would like to show you is the new um, side airflow option you get in this package here. Um, and this side airflow option is, as you can see, no airflow from the top. It's just from the side and it has an absolutely great feature. You can um, you can close it down completely and um, the slot is just slightly smaller. So if you open this up, you can see how it works. It's a, it's a simple bayonet system. It's um, it, there's an O-ring works absolutely fantastic and you just put it on top. And here it's the same. Check it out that you have no gap, that all O-rings are fine. And then if you um, go counterclockwise, you are open. Um, this airflow is a touch smoother. I mean, the airflow channels are just a little bit smaller. Um, I think there will also be a Maui design side airflow, not 100% not sure. But you can also mix and match everything here, as you can see. And this um, side airflow is available as dual hole and also as single hole. It's not no um, option um, to have both. So you have to decide which version you would like when you buy it. Um, I think it's great. I do really like it. Maybe I will have the chance um, to also have this in the Maui design would be would be absolutely great. Um, then, of course, we have um, to take a look on the um, tank extension Maui design, which is original packed. I didn't open this up until now here live. I mean, when I record it is live. When you watch it, 
it is definitely not live. Ah, yeah, I will destroy it, I knew it. So let's have a look here, a longer screw, a longer chimney, um, a longer glass, everything here included. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, that's fine. Then we're gonna open the um, standard version here. So we're gonna take this away and put this inside. I think this one O-ring here is a spare because the one here is inside, which is pretty, pretty important. And then we just put it on. So now we have a Maui design tank extension which holds hopefully I'm not wrong I think 7 ml or 7.5 I'm not sure so here we've got the long version which is stunning it is definitely stunning and great so that was important for me to show you so once again um, reducer flavor wise perfect really good for MTL Please put it in from the top and just check that there are no gaps and then um, airflow will be absolutely tight and fine and perfect. So I showed you um, changing from TL to MTL and vice versa. Uh, the side airflow which is available in two options, dual hole and single hole and the complete Maui unit with the tank extension. So I think we are good to go. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.